All right, here's our weather impact alert. It's all about tomorrow, not only in the morning, but again in the afternoon. Very heavy downpours, specifically in the morning. Then the severe threats start to kick up in the afternoon, and that's when we get into more of the traditional thunderstorm modes with the hail, the high winds, and yes, even more of the rain. The system itself is sitting out here to our west. It doesn't look all that great so far, but things are going to change. We have a warm front that will come through first. That will help to add heat. That's also going to bring in the humidity and then the cold front gets here and ahead of that. That's when we're anticipating the storms to really fire up in the afternoon. So here comes the rain tonight and notice as the rain gets here, we're going to see a lot of growth. We have pieces, parts of the atmosphere. That's as technical as I'm going to get everybody. Pieces, parts of the atmosphere that are all lining up to really enhance thunderstorm development tonight. But more importantly, it's all about the rain. There is a ton of humidity that will be in here. And when you get that much humidity in these thunderstorms, they become very efficient rain producers. Literally, they have tons of great gas to work with and they just wring out the rain. So we have the morning round of very heavy rain across the area that moves out. This is when the temperatures kick up and then here comes the thunderstorm complex for the afternoon that fires up as the cold front gets closer to us. And so we'll call that with scattered afternoon and evening thunderstorms. I think most of that will be in the afternoon and then throughout the evening, maybe just a few scattered showers that linger. I mentioned the humidity. Things are really lining up to bring us yet another round of super heavy rain. Remember, Ashtabula had all that heavy rain not too long ago. This is a big bullseye of super soaker type humidity in the atmosphere. And you can see as it's coming our way, it begins to line up with the exact timing of when those thunderstorms are growing. So this is a stop the clock at 8 a.m. We are basically primed with all kinds of humidity. So Whatever thunderstorms come in, they got lots of water to work with. We hold on to that humidity into the afternoon and ahead of drier air that moves in, that may actually help to kick off the thunderstorms, which would then bring us the chances for the high winds and the hail and whatnot. And the numbers just popped off, but you may have caught them there. We have the possibility of a stripe of very heavy rain, most of this falling in the morning and then in the initial afternoon round too. Uh, but we're talking two to four inches of rain, a possibility and look where it is. There's a lot of concrete in these areas, so flash flooding is going to be a possibility. Interestingly enough, the National Weather Service in Pittsburgh is the one that put the flash, or excuse me, the flood watch out first. That's for Tuscarawas and Carroll counties. I would not be surprised if we get some kind of a watch issued for tomorrow later on this evening. Damaging winds and large hail. The threat for that will mostly be in the afternoon, but the heavy rain threat is not only in the morning, but also the afternoon. We'll look at your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast, which is phenomenal for tonight. Do it up. It's going to be amazing. But tomorrow morning, here comes that round of rain. This is 5 a.m. Rain coming in, probably some thunder and lightning in here, too. And the heavy rain just kind of slowly moves through the area through the morning. We get that break late morning into the afternoon. That's going to help to hike the temperatures up and then those thunderstorms fire. These are the storms that we're looking for, the possibility of the high winds and the hail. By about 6 p.m., that's out of here, and we may just have a few isolated showers lingering into the rest of the evening. So your Medina Country Club forecast is really focused on tomorrow with the rain and storms. We clear out Sunday. It'll be beautiful on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we start to heat up again, and that leads into thunderstorm chances. It'll be scattered around the area for the July 4th holiday.